What's up everybody? This video is the five things I love about Bolingbrook and the five things I wish were different. Keep watching to find out what those are. Hey everyone, this is Austin Weiss. I'm a local real estate agent right here in the Chicago Metro. If you're new to this channel, I do videos every single week about what it's like to eat, live, drink, and play right here in the Chicagoland area. If you're ever thinking about making a move here to Chicago or the Chicagoland area, I'm available by phone, text, email, and AOL Instant Messenger. Well, maybe not anymore, but you, you kind of get the point. Also, leave me a comment down below if there's ever a topic or a town you want to know more about and I'll do a video. Without any further ado, let's jump into it. Let's start things off by talking about the affordability of homes in Bolingbrook. My number one pro of Bolingbrook is that there's plenty of homes in that $200,000 to $450,000 price point. That's townhouses and houses. At the timing of this filming, there was over 100 homes in those price ranges available. The first con about the homes is the fact that there's high taxes in Bolingbrook. You can get homes in that 2 to 2.5% property tax range, but there's some homes that creep over 3, 3.5% 3 .5 and sometimes even 4%. My second con of Bolingbrook is there isn't really a central downtown area with any boutique shops, restaurants, and bars that you can meet up with your friends and family at. But they do have the promenade, and that's an outdoor mall with plenty of restaurants and shopping across the street from the promenade. You have one of only two Ikeas in the state of Illinois, so it's definitely a go-to place. In the promenade, they have restaurants such as Ted's Montana Grill, Rock Bottom Brewery, and much, much more, along with Vinny's, Bass Pro Shop, and iPick Theaters, where you can actually recline, watch your movie, and get served dinner and drinks. The third thing I love about Bolingbrook is that there's 24 major companies headquartered right here, including WeatherTech, Ulta Beauty, ATI Physical Therapy, and JetBright Car Wash. Unfortunately, according to Niche.com, Bolingbrook only scores a C plus in the crime rating, which is slightly lower than surrounding communities such as Naperville, Plainfield, and Downers Grove. In addition, the school district Valley View 365 has several elementary and junior highs that only score a 1 to a 3 out of 5 stars. But there are neighborhoods in Bolingbrook that have Plainfield School District 202 and Indian Prairie School District 204, which are some of the top school districts and schools in the state of Illinois. If you're an outdoors guy like me, you're going to love Bolingbrook. It has over 50 parks. Some of my favorites include Whalen Lake that has a jogging and biking path that goes around the entire lake. If you own a kayak or a trolling motorboat, you can definitely take that out and get some of the best fishing in the area. Some of the biggest parks in Bolingbrook include Volunteer, Central and Indian Boundary Parks. Indian Boundary features a cricket stadium and a skate park. Also Central Park has the second skate park in Bolingbrook. And the final con of Bolingbrook is that there is no train stop. You have to drive to Lyle or Naperville as the nearest train stops, but I-355 and 55 makes it very convenient to get to the northern burbs or into the city pretty quickly. And that wraps up my five pros and five cons about Bolingbrook. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, tap that bell, and subscribe as I have a ton more content coming out about Chicago and the suburbs of Chicago. Definitely reach out to me by phone, text, or email if you're ever thinking about making a move here to Chicago or the Chicago suburbs. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.